you say something different than what is here. When you translate it, you give something different than what is here. Okay, is that everything? No, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. before 14 centuries ago anyway. It says uh, this was an, a term that Ibrahim, Abraham used to use and so on. It's unfortunate that in translations of the Koran, when they translate one particular verse, they translate every word except one, and it gives a lot of misunderstandings. There's a verse which says, if anyone wants a religion other than Islam, God will not accept it of him. Well, the problem is they translated all the words except the Arabic word said Islam here in Arabic, and they write Islam, I-S-L-A-M, in English. <laughs> But Islam means something. It's not a label. It's not a club. It means submission to God. And the Arab reads that sentence. He reads, if anyone desires a religion which doesn't involve submitting to God, God will not accept it. Well, that makes sense to everybody. I don't think anybody would argue with that. That's the meaning of Islam. Uh, so it is said also in the Quran about, uh, it says some people came to hear Islam explained, and when it was explained to them, they said, oh, well, we were Muslims before this. See, they didn't use that name, but they said, what you told us is what we believed before anyway. So I guess we've been Muslims all the time. That was, that was my feeling. When I read the Quran, I said, ah, this is what I've been saying for 15 years. <laughs> so this is Islam. So I guess I've been a Muslim. Okay. Um, this concerns what I was saying about a ball of clay in a cube. To say that if you had a ball of clay and you squeeze it into a cube, now it has corners, so it's not round anymore. That's all I said. See, what, what somebody's pointing out is to say, yes, but it's still clay, you see. It used to be round, now it's got corners on it, but it's still clay. So couldn't it be that's how God becomes man? But, see, that's exactly the, the point. God is supposed to mean a lot of things. One of the things that it means, you say, this is God. You mean, uh, this one here, he knows everything that can be known. That's one of the things you mean. So that you change the shape of the clay, it's not round. That it's still clay, don't argue about it. It's not round. Just as if you could imagine that God becomes a man, it's not correct to say he's still God. Because when you say God, you mean he knows everything that can be known. Men don't have that capacity. So, whatever he is now, he isn't what he used to be. There's, even, there's a verse uh, in the Bible that's reported, anyway, that Jesus said, There are things God knows which I don't know. You see? So, <laughs> whoever says that, even if he used to be God, he isn't anymore. And he says, What God knows, I don't know. Some things the Father knows, the Son doesn't know. Okay, I guess that's our time. Huh?